Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the pump curve and system curve. I got so many comments about the sir what is the system curve, we do not understand about the pump performance curve and system curve, how to analyze them, okay what is the meaning of system curve, okay and also I got the comments in Instagram that sir uh, in an interview the interviewer asked that what is the difference between the pump curve and system curve okay and where to use it what is the application of that so in this video we are going to discuss about it okay so please follow this video thoroughly so that i could tell you about the what is the difference between the pump curve and system curve okay so initially what we will do we will consider one case right see this is your one vessel okay and from the this vessel there is the one wall then the strainer okay and this is my pump also we can say this is our system okay and what is the system basically the system is which is our primary focus or the main focus right and here is my another vessel where my fluid has to be go for example this is location 1 and this is location 2 let's assume that it is at the elevation here it is at the elevation 0 0 and it is at the elevation meter and meter okay fine now see before we like discuss about the system curve or pump curve we are using here pump right now my question is why so you will say sir we have to transfer the fluid from one location to another location that's why we are using the pump okay we have to transfer the liquid for example here is the water so you have to transfer the water from this location to this location right now there is two thing which i want to tell you here the pressure is p1 let's suppose and here is the here is the pressure is p2 so where will be the high pressure or where should be the high pressure obviously at p2 so p2 should be greater than p1 this is the first thing this is the logical thing right and here will be one head and this is my pump okay and here will be also one head head means height you can say okay the static and dynamic head so the h2 will be greater than h1 if what if if it it would be reverse then the p2 like p1 is greater than p2 so obviously your fluid will flow from here to here like that right and in that case you do not require the pump right and same if the h2 would be lower than the h1 then what will happen if you have to transfer the fluid from here to here you don't require the pump right but in our case these are the constant value please understand that these values are constant means constant we can say or the fixed we can say whether your pump is running or not these values will be fixed because this vessel is at elevation 0 so it will be at elevation 0 now whether you are operating this pump at any level like any flow rate you can say right so see here will be also okay the piping system okay and the pg and all now my point is that if you want to send your fluid or transfer your fluid from this point from here to here then you will have to overcome the pressure or overcome you will have to overcome this pressure delta p and the h are you able to understand what i want to say then only you can transfer the fluid from your pump suction to the location 2 otherwise you cannot transfer so what is this what is what is the these values these values are you can say your static head okay or you can also say the resistance 
ओके नाउ दिस स्टैटिक हेड इज द हेड विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ओवरकम द ग्रेविटी एट जीरो फ्लो यू कैन से लाइक दैट ओके सो दिस इज द वन केस नाउ लेट्स कम हेयर सो यू विल सी दैट एट द जीरो फ्लो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज यू हैव टू ओवरकम द सिस्टम हेयर ओके लेट्स चेंज द कलर एट हेयर सो दिस फ्रॉम जीरो टू दिस पॉइंट you have to overcome your system and let's i am assuming this is the static head or resistance okay now what will happen that now your system will go like that fine so what it is telling so the, it was telling the static head fine now what it is telling it is telling that how the total head is varying with the flow rate you can say like that and this curve is the system curve this curve is the system curve now la one thing i wanted to tell you if you will go like that na so what it is it is your static head okay fine now just do one thing now now i'll come to the this point again because the system curve is not completed here okay actually the system curve is the you can simply say the combination of or the sum of the static head plus dynamic head in the static head we have considered that okay you have to like overcome the resistance to transfer fluid from one location to another location okay and the dynamic head is also there okay which will be change as you change the flow rate right fine now there is one another curve which mainly you will see that is the your pump curve or the pump performance curve we say so what happens that it mainly it is provided by the pump manufacturer okay and the system curve is also provided by the pump manufacturer and you can also plot this curve now what happens that at zero flow with respect to pump curve i am talking about right at zero flow you get the static uh, you get the shut off head this h s h means shut off head okay now what happens that as the flow rate increases as the flow rate increases the head decreases what is the reason behind it so again come here see if i talk about the see whenever we are talking about the pump performance curve, whenever we are talking about the system curve so we are mainly concerned about the discharge side okay okay now see if i talk about this line so this line area is constant when the area is constant so if the velocity will be increases delta p will be increases so that's why what is happening here if the flow will increase what will happen the velocity will be increase and the delta p will be increase and the pressure will be decrease okay and the head will be decrease right so what will happen that as you will see here simply you can see as you will increase the velocity obviously the velocity will be increase so that what will happen your pressure will be decrease or your head will be reduced okay the obviously the pressure drop will be increased right so that's why you can see this graph looks like that okay this is your pump curve now see this point this is the very very important point and this point is called the operating right so what the manufacturer recommends that see here i am not talking about the impeller diameter and all that okay that we will discuss in our upcoming videos like how to select the pump with the help of the pump curves okay what when like one what pump manufacturer recommends that we have to operate our pump at this point means plus minus operating point so what will happen that you will get the maximum efficiency okay and your pump will run efficiently you can say like that okay fine now what i want to tell you here we were discussing about the pump curve okay see here 
we discuss about this point this is the static head now what is this one it is a dynamic head it is a dynamic head which results due to the friction frictional losses which we see in our system or in our pipeline due to the line due to the piping and pipe fitting you can say the instruments and equipments whatever we are using this is the dynamic head or the friction like simply i am saying here like there is a messy this curve has been become okay so sorry for that now i hope you understood that what i wanted to tell you that see this is the system curve okay you have to overcome some resistance you have to overcome some resistance so that's why this curve will be start from here and this is your pump performance curve so it will be start from here obviously because at zero flow if you will see obviously if you will like you started the pump okay and the flow is zero so what where at what maximum head or maximum pressure your pump could be achieved this point will tell you right and it will goes down at you increase the flow rate and wherever it will intersect this point is called the operating point and sometimes it is also called the best efficiency point so i hope you understood about the system curve and the pump curve if you have any doubt in this video so i will recommend you please check it out our centrifugal pumps playlist and pump playlist okay still if you have any doubt please let me in the comments box or which type of the videos you want please let me in the comments box so that i could prepare that videos and upload that videos okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you